Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mighty Boy, you are the Mighty Powers, and welcome back to Kenji. So on last episode, we managed to do, well, not that much I don't think. Honestly, we didn't get to steal much, we did get our skills up, um, we found out how broke we really were, and how much money we really don't have, and we, yeah, we got, our, we got some skills up, didn't manage to steal anything. So today's episode, we are going to get some stealing done we are going to actually steal some stuff for some profit but we have to wait until nightfall so i am going to get myself into sneak mode i'm going to fast forward all this stuff we're going to try and get ourselves back in to the um yeah get, get ourselves back into there let's talk let's talk to these thieves every other playthrough i've done these thieves have caused trouble and gotten themselves beat up like a lot thief boss you want to go, okay, so you want in on the shinobi, hey? The guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't full of nobody. They're nothing, nothing a few cats can't handle. Oh, wow. I want to join the shinobi thieves. You can join for a fee. That's it? I don't have to complete a test or prove myself or, or something? Do I look like I've got the time to hand out busy work? No, this is a business we're running, not a social club. Just a one-time membership fee. 10,000 cats. Oh dear. So what will it be? Do you want to join the guild? Oh, what do I get in return for all that money? You get yourself allies. We have hideouts like this in a lot of major towns. We watch each other's backs. Shinobi thieves stick together. It's your safe haven for you to rest and recover. We have specialist training equipment to use. You can sell your stolen items to our fence and he also sells some hard to find specialist equipment at a huge discount. That I like. That I want to do. Specialist equipment, huge discount. I'm there. Alrighty. Maybe some other time. Don't have 10,000 cats, actually. Alright, back into sneak mode. We're going to try and get our sneak up. We're just going to run around town, really, at this point. I don't really know what else we can do other than buy a hat. Welcome. Let's go talk to the hat guy. Do some business now. All right. All the armors and stuff come in prototype, shoddy grade. You can have some, oh, there we go, standard grades, and you can get some high grades. I think it might have some high grades down the bottom. What are these? No, all shoddy grades. It's all bad stuff. Not, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's get us a straw hat. I like that. You also have these. These are the blueprints for you to make the stuff yourself. You can see the cell value. I think these used to go for quite, you know, a pretty penny. If you were a thief, you would want to steal this stuff. Not so much now. This does increase my stealth. I've already kind of got a good stealth thing happening, I think, with my race class. I don't really want to wear a basket on my head. So... Valencia is now wearing a straw hat. She's looking all kinds of desert ninja. Um, that's probably going to be one of the best things. I think I'm going to sort of try and go desert ninja on these guys. Wait a minute. Get back into sneak. All right. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. We're basically going to wait. We're going to wait until it's about 12. We're going to steal some more stuff. Let's see. The stealth is at 22. My theater is at 15 my athletics is at 12 let's see by nightfall pretty much how well we can do this just by cruising around these guys um i'm hoping there's not going to be that guy back there i really am um we are going to try and actually get some stuff stolen tonight so we can make some money i can show you guys what you do when you try and fence things off um not building a fence to go around things oh that dude is back there Really? Who's that? That's a samurai guy. Ah, oh, no. He better not be staying there forever. But yeah, so when you fence items, as in selling illegal items that you have stolen, there's a way to do it. There's a way not to do it. Um, there's different little things you can rely on. Basically, best idea, don't try and sell the stuff back to the same person. You'll have such a low percentage chance of actually getting it done. And you'll probably um, find yourself in a whole heap of trouble when when you do that. 
you know, they'll sort of say, oi, that's mine, and then they'll try and fight you, then you go to jail. It sort of sucks. Um, but as far as I know, really, 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 there's, I might steal stuff from this shop, and he's like a trades goods shop, and there's other trades goods shop here. So my idea is that along with my thievery fence ability, if I sell it to another trade shop, they're going to want to buy this guy's stuff. They're basically going to want to be like, oh yeah, yeah, we're in direct competition with that guy. We don't mind buying his stolen items because it hurts him. And yeah, I'm going way too into the AI. I don't think the AI has that kind of emotional prowess, but I want to believe that it does because it sort of works for me. All right, let's see how much we've got. 24. That's not too bad. That was an extra two points. We're still going. We want to have our stealth up really high. Um, it helps with the thievery. And when you pick up items and you start adding weight, your stealth goes down. So you actually want your stealth to be like, Really good high. Wow. Did you guys see the glitch? Did you guys see that blue? <laughs> that was weird. Um, I, I do have to sort of comment too. This game, I suppose, is still in alpha. Uh, there's going to be bugs and glitches and things like that. Um, there's a function, especially when NPCs just sort of bug out and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. You can import your save game back into the world. Um, sort of matrix style and all the NPCs sort of reset themselves. That's a good way to fix it. Just cause yeah, we are still in. What are those guys doing? Oh, trade caravan. Okay. Thought they might've been having a fight. Nope, no fights going on this time. Every game's, every game's really different. You know, I've, I've loaded up a few games. The thieves always seem to get themselves put in jail almost immediately. Um, this time they haven't. There's usually not as many guard action going on. But this time it does sort of seem like there is. Right, come over here. What's going on over here? So here's the thing about stealing. They've closed the door. They haven't gone to bed. Look at this guy. He is still there. And he has not gone to bed. So we're going to make sure that this guy goes to bed. And there. He's gone to bed. So you can pick the lock. And you can pick it. These guys are going to bed. They don't care that I'm picking the lock. Like, 100% at all, they don't care that I'm picking the lock. If I try and break in now, and they're still up, they will kind of, you know, harass me, and try and put me in jail. So, you wait until they all go to bed. That's the business. Alright, I'm going to shut the door. It was a good idea to shut the door. And no one's down here. Oh, this is going to be magic. Okay, let's go and pick this lock. I think if people are on the same floor, your chance to steal is a lot less. What's this? That isn't yours. Who's that? Ah, you know what? We're trying to steal some stuff. Let's get back there. All right, so I think if they're not on the same floor, I might have a real good chance of actually stealing that. Oh, sorry, yeah, I wanted to go back over this. See this? Committing crime. And you've got a countdown. So when she's actually successfully picked the lock, that countdown will start. Hopefully. Okay, well, I'll just pick the lock now. I should be getting some mad skill gains on this safe, though. That's what I want. I want to pick the safe, because I want it to be hard, and I want to get my skills up. It's almost like power leveling. I think because I'm in sneak mode, it's, that's going up with the sneak as well. Yeah, see, my stealth is going up. Actually, quite a lot. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see what that is at. 86%. It's getting pretty high. I don't mind that. It's getting pretty high. Let's see if I can do this and show you what's going on. So, Valencia has got a bit of a timer. And when she... When she's successful in that and she stops breaking the law, that time's going to go down. Now, if any of these people come downstairs, well, actually, I'm breaking and entering, so if they come downstairs and see me, they will raise the alarm. But if it was during the day and they came downstairs and I'd already finished doing what I was doing, but it was within these three seconds, they are still going to catch me stealing. So you've got to be aware of that. Like, you may have done the crime and no one saw you do it, but once it's done, that countdown still needs to hit zero. So a lot of the times, if you've done it and you're kind of hidden away... Give yourself a three seconds. Don't move. See that? One thing. Zero. Don't move. Wait until that's gone down and then try and do some stuff. 93%.
That's quite high. That's quite high. What's the time? 1.38. We are running out of time. There's actually not a lot of time at night. You think there is. You spend all time during the day wasting time. Um, oh, wait a minute. Pick this one too. You spend all the time during the day and it seems like it takes forever to get to night. As soon as night happens, you feel like you've got not enough time to steal all their stuff. Let's see. Percentage chance has gone up pretty high for me to steal stuff. Pretty high. 93% luxury goods. That's not really that much. Ninety-seven percent. Oh, we're gonna risk it because it's ninety-seven. <laughs> I'm being such a girl about this. Okay, again, I steal something, committing crime. Wait till that goes down. That's good. Do another one. Oh yes. Oh, it's gone up to ninety-eight percent. Do another one. Right now. I could probably lift this entire, oh, well, I couldn't lift this entire store. Um, her encumbrance is still zero. So that's good. My stealth is sitting at 28 because my encumbrance isn't abnormally high. Because what I chose to steal as well, sorry, wrong screen. What I chose to steal as well, it's only two kilograms. Could have been those six kil kil kilogram ones. That wouldn't have been too great. Not at all. Um, go back over here. We've still got some room, so if we can, that's only 9%. Depends on where you are, where they are. They can hear through floors as well. I know it sounds ridiculous, but they can. 93%. Yeah. Tell you what, what we're going to do. We are going to escape. And down here. Close that door. Right, we were never here, and look at what we got. So now you can see the sell value is 2,500. It's half of that. When it's in the store, it looks like it's heaps, and you think, oh, yay, when it's out of the store. But that's 2,500 cats. That's 7,500. If we can find someone to actually sell that to, that's going to be 7,500 cats. That's going to set us up sort of okay. That seems like a lot. It's not actually heaps. Who is this guy? I'm intrigued by you. Let's go over here. Go over here, go over here, go over here. Alrighty. We're gonna get up into here. Let's see, who is this guy? Am I allowed to be in here? Ooh, seems like I am. Yep, public. Who's this guy? Els, Empire Peasant. This isn't mine. Oh, okay. You get this message if you're trying to sleep in a bed that's not yours. So he's obviously like, this dude's here. This guy can't even see me. So he's trying to go into bed. This is sometimes the, yeah, gonna glitch out. This guy here, Samurai Guard Captain. He's sleeping, going to bed. Hey, no one's here, huh? Um. I tell you what we can do, since you're asleep, I thought he was awake and guarding the place. He's not, he's a bugged out NPC, fantastic. I'm gonna pick this lock. That guy is behind there too. That's brilliant that he slept there. Always get your skills up. Even if you don't wanna be a thief, you don't wanna do the thieving thing, pick the locks because one day you're gonna to wanna to have to break out of jail or you're gonna to wanna to break your friend out of jail, you're just gonna want it. You're definitely gonna want it. Oh, someone's coming by. No, 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 no. You're not coming in, are you? No, that's all good. Their line of sight's pretty good. Um, it's pretty favorable to the um, to the player, the line of sight. They won't just see you from here, across there, all the way out there. They've gotta be relatively close. Like if there's a darkness patch and stuff like that, like obviously the light's here. So if anyone was kind of like, you know, they could actually see us, that's what this light thing does. But you don't find much bullshit where people can just see through walls and see you and, and, and stuff like that, which is good. But animals do tend to want to see you. Oh no. I think if animals see you, strangely enough, it can still raise the alarm. 
You gotta hear. Go away, animal. <laughs> Let's go up to the second floor, maybe. Is there anyone up here? Is anyone sleeping up in this joint up here? Let's get up here. There was a dust switch. It's like a sandwich with dust in it. Apparently it's tasty. Right. Okay, I got heaps of room. So if you hold down Alt, it'll show you all the stuff, show you all the signs, show you all the stuff. If you left click, apparently, come on. And if you left click, you're just supposed to be able to steal it. It won't let me steal it. Oh, got those two things. Oh yeah, cool. Straight up ate the dust switch. And you wait for that time. That probably did have a bit of a three second time. You wait for that to wear off. It is 510. We are getting out of here. We are absolutely getting out of here. Good. Right. 530. Let's see what we've got. Got some rum, because yes. Um, I've got a cup that's worth nothing, really. Uh, that's probably just liability for us right now. I've got cactus rum. That's worth a bit. That is worth a bit. And I've got a dust switch that I'm going to be eating already, so that's good. Uh, let's see. And the skeleton repair kits. That is going to net me some fine, fine coin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for one of these shops to open and we're gonna see, like the shop's still closed. We're gonna see if someone's gonna buy this. This dude's bugging out, I love it, that he's bugging out. Yeah, we'll get ourselves to the shop's open state. Six thirty must be good, right? Mm, apparently not. These guys sleep for ages. The guy's standing there. Who's that? Bounty hunters. Yes, got a bounty. Those guys will come after you. Huh? What is he doing? People. <laughs> What happened there? Who's that guy? City Hero? They always get beat up. I don't know why people don't like City Heroes. I swear they're thieves. I swear they're thieves. You know what we should do though? We should go first aid this guy. I know that sounds ridiculous. But we could do with some first aiding. So you see here they're going to first aid up until the point that those bars are red, he's going to have to heal the rest of the way. We can put him into a bed to make him heal a lot faster. Um, but yeah, it's not really... Um, he'll survive anyway. He'll survive. Got enough med kits. So she's going to do that. It's good to get your medic up, even if you're not good at medic, just get your medic up. Some, at some point you're going to be alone in the desert, you're going to want to heal yourself. These guys must be open for the day, so it's 8 o'clock. So, let's get back down to floor zero and go talk to this merchant. We're going to try and fence some things. Looking to trade? Let's do business. When you hover over the item, it will tell you your fencing chance. So these all are 59%. So there's a good 40% chance he's going to sit there and go, that's stolen and you're going to be in a world of hurt. This guy also probably has some good stuff to steal later on too. I stole it from Trade Goods. This guy's also Trade Good. So maybe they're in cahoots. Maybe they are like the same sort of thing. Mm. Mm. I wonder if City Heroes, oh sorry, I'm just going to go and see the factions. I wonder if City Heroes, United Heroes League. Okay, oh that's good. So 
Look at this. I have healed him and I've got plus five for that. I like this. Um, do I splint? I don't even have a splint. Okay, I'm going to pick up this dude. We're going to have a bit of a detour because you know what? Nothing is better. Nothing is better than having good relations with people um, so that they don't do nasty things to you. I don't think these guys would, but you know, let's go in here. Let's just put this guy to bed. He's going to recover pretty quickly. We're going to have a good time. Come on, hurry up. She might even get some strength from carrying him because he's so heavy. Let's go up to floor one and I'm going to put that guy into bed. That'll cost me like 150 cats. <clears throat> We're about to go make some money, so I don't mind so much. Yeah, 150 bucks for a bed rental. And his arms are, whoa. Whoa. He, yeah. Your left arm is really screwed, look at it. So anyway, he's gonna start recovering quicker, now that he's in bed. And we are going to go to a different store. So that, so those ones are trades goods. This is the tech hunters, that's the machinists. They must be part of different factions, I think. So my idea is that the factions will buy from different factions if they're stolen way better because they're sort of in competition, maybe. So let's get down and dirty and talk to Moo. See anything you like? Let's do business. What have we got? Oh yeah, these travel shops always have map stuff so you can buy it and it um, basically just opens up the areas on your map. I mean, they're already open. You can find them yourselves, but that will just sort of have the point of The world is big. These are actually pretty relevant. Ration packs are amazing. Don't take up much room. Provide a lot. What have we got? Small fees backpack. Yes, I want one of them. Okay, so let's see. Yes, fencing chance, 110%. I was right. They don't like them, so they're going to buy their soul and stuff. Ah, oh, God, I love this. Um, each shopkeeper is persistent. They're going to last, you know, forever unless they get killed and then they won't last at all. They also have an amount of money. They don't have unlimited money. Uh, I don't know how their money gets replenished other than the trading caravans maybe come through and buy their stuff. But in, in any case, this will actually run out at some point. But we don't have much to sell. And these are all, 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 all 110%. Yes, okay, we're going to sell these off. One, two, three. He's not going to care. And now we have eight and a half thousand. I like this. This is good. She just arranged that. So I'm going to go pick up a backpack. For one and a half. I like that. Thieves backpack it is. Thank you. And... What else are we going to buy? Oh, wow. That's an expensive map. They're very expensive maps. I don't want them. Use these research art artifact books to do your research. So you build a research bench and you, you put those books in there and you can start doing stuff like that. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We have um, five and a half thousand cats left. We actually need probably to do more thieving. Way more thieving. What is it? 1047. I could steal from these shops if I could get in there without people looking at me. But at the same time, this guy's buying my stuff. So I don't really, let's go in here and see what this guy has. I really don't want to steal from this guy if he's going to buy my stuff. But let's see what this person has. Come in there. Who are you? Looking to buy. Show me what you have. Oh yeah, these are construction traders. Okay. So that's good. When we go to build stuff, we'll need all these things, but I am pretty sure I'm just gonna end up stealing them. <laughs> Shop guard doesn't like me. Shop guard can go away. I'm gonna go over here. Again, heaps of stuff. Shop, these shops are sort of well guarded. I know I've been quite successful. How much was this again? 14,000, nowhere near that. 
Well, look, we only managed to steal a few things because I got sort of, I suppose, overly cautious. Um, I think tomorrow night we're just going to try and steal everything. We've got our bag. She's got a little thief's backpack on, looking at all bag-like. Haven't found a shirt yet. I sort of want one of them. There's usually some fights in the city, and they usually leave a lot of stuff. Maybe there's been some fights out of town. Look at all these guys. Samurais. Sometimes there's fights out of town. Look at these guys. Slavers. I don't like you, slavers. Every game I play, I end up getting turfed into slavery at some point. I don't like them. There's another samurai. Don't like the police. Don't like anyone, really. No one, unless you've got money and I can steal it, or you're going to join up with me. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get back into sneak mode then. Actually, where was that dude? Let's see if I can sneak straight back in. That guy who was just like, this isn't mine. He interests me. Maybe he is someone I can talk to. You want to come over here? Where are you, Valencia? Where are you? What are you doing? You can double click on your character to sort of center them in. The, um, the pathing on this is actually incredibly good. I generally don't have to watch them as they walk. You just sort of click somewhere and they will eventually come. Which is good. Let's get back inside the shop. I want to see one of these barracks. I want to see where this guy went. Yeah, this guy's sleeping. That guy was sleeping. Oh, now he's running off. They're running a lot. Can I go and steal this stuff? If I go pick lock. No one's coming inside, hey? Ooh, my timer just wore off when he ran in through the door, so that was good. 94% chance. Oh, a sword, a ninja blade. I like swords. I don't really need one because I'm thieving. Oh, food. Yes, I like food. 94%. We're in stark daylight. It's good that I've unlocked that. I will come back in the middle of the night and steal your food. This is good. Let's check out our stats again. We're up to 31 stealth, 24 thievery, uh, only one on assassination. I like that guy's offer of, you know, the thief boss. I hope he hasn't been beaten up yet. Honestly happens every, every time. No, the thief boss is still there. Good on you. So this playthrough, we're going to actually join these guys. We're going to pay them the $10,000, even though that's ludicrously expensive. And, um, yeah. In the meantime, we are going to be getting our stealth up. It, it is boring. I am, I am sorry. Things get way more interesting in a while. Um, I just need some money. Because people who join me, they want money. The buildings to build, they need money. And the research needs money. And everything just needs money. And I need to have enough money, you know. And then we can go do some fun stuff. We can hire some people. We can start our research, which we will, which we'll need. We're going to maybe start our own little base. Maybe I'll employ other people to do the mining. We don't have to do it. They'll do it. They'll get themselves on and go on. And it will be all, all good. All good. Alrighty guys, I am going to leave the episode there. I know I'm kind of leaving it on a bit of a down note. Nothing really happened today. Um, we did some of the fencing stuff, so I have noticed that these shops must compete and they really like buying each other stolen goods, so that's cool. I'm wondering if I can go steal that guy's stuff and then sell it back to that guy. That would be great. Um, and fleece all of their money. I think they'll run out of money, but you know, whatever. Anyway, we are going to end the episode here. Thanks for joining us for Kenshi and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.